What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're gonna to be unboxing the brand new iPhone 13 in three all new colors. So we have the pink, we have Starlight, and we have Midnight. So we're gonna be unboxing these phones, taking a look at what's new and also comparing the color to see if they're really that much different than previous year's colors, especially the Starlight and the Midnight. I wanna see if they're actually different than white and black from last year. And as far as pricing goes for the iPhone 13, it's 829 for the 128 gigabytes, 929 for 256, and 1129 for 512 gigabytes. And you can subtract $30 if you activate it with a carrier. So we're gonna unbox the mini last. We're gonna go ahead and get right into the pink iPhone 13 and the midnight iPhone 13. So we're gonna start off with the midnight because I'm really looking forward to pink. I wanna kind of have some suspense for myself here. So this year is the first year Apple actually has not included plastic on the iPhones. So the iPhone just comes with a box like this and we do have a peel tab here on the bottom and on the top. So that is new on the packaging this year. All the iPhone 13s and the 13 minis all come with a white box, whereas the Pros come with a black box. So I will also be unboxing the Pro models, the Pro and the Pro Max. So if you wanna check out that video, that is linked in the cards and also down in the description below. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the Midnight iPhone 13. So we're gonna peel the bottom tab just like so, and then the top one, and we are good to go. We can take the top off and you can see the Midnight iPhone 13 right there. So my first impressions are that it looks just like the black from last year. So maybe they just changed the name of the color. Here's the black one from last year. I guess it is a little bit more of a pure black. I do have fingerprints all over this. All right, so I got the fingerprints off and actually it does look a little bit lighter than it did previously. So this is the iPhone 12 right here and this is the iPhone 13. So the 13 looks a little bit like a lighter black. So that's maybe why they called it midnight instead of black. Very interesting. So let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in the box. So we do have our USB-C to lightning cable right here. And then we have our little pamphlet right here with our semi jack tray and one little Apple sticker that is not color coordinated. It's just a white Apple sticker and that's it. So no charging block in the box just like last year. So we're gonna put all this off to the side and then let's go ahead and get into the pink iPhone 13 because I'm really interested to see how this one is going to look, especially compared to previous pinks that Apple has tried, like the rose gold and the pink iPhone 6S. So let's go ahead and take off the peel tab here as well top and the bottom. So this is definitely like a millennial pink, like I've heard. So I definitely agree with that. It is definitely a very like blush, really light pink, which I think is good. It doesn't look as harsh as I thought it would as a pink color. Now I have the rose gold, which is what Apple called the iPhone 8 right here on the right. And it really, you could tell, obviously it has its rose gold. So it's gonna be a more of a gold tone, but you can see kind of how this pink compares to like the rose gold iPhone 8. I really, really like the look of this iPhone 13 here. So you can see the borders as well look really nice. It's a really nice blush pink all around. And we do have the dual cameras right there, which is new this year, by the way. Of course, last year, the iPhone 12 had the cameras just vertical. Now they are horizontal like this. And of course they are much bigger as well. You can see a big increase in the size of those camera lenses. And then you guys already know what came in the box. So we're just gonna set all that off to the side. And let's go ahead and take the screens off. Moment of silence. So satisfying double the satisfaction. All right, so let's go ahead and boot both of these phones up at the same time right here. And I wanna take a look at that notch and see how much smaller it looks than last year because we do have a smaller notch this year on the iPhone 13 compared to the iPhone 12. So I'm gonna boot up the iPhone 12 as well so we can take a look at that notch. So the notch definitely looks different. So it's not as long, but it is a little bit taller. So the notch goes down the screen a little bit more, but it's not quite as long vertically or horizontally as it was last year on the iPhone 12. So that's interesting. And you can see the speaker is more towards the very top of the phone now compared to being lower down last year on the 12. But of course, everything else around the device, like the borders, the speakers at the bottom, everything is the same as it was last year. We have that same squared off design, which I love. And we also have that same OLED display. So the display is going to look the same as it did on the iPhone 12. However, the iPhone 13 Pros are going to have the ProMotion display with 120 hertz refresh rate, which is gonna be nice. Now also looking around the borders right here, it looks like we have slimmer bezels on the iPhone 13 as well. So the bezel on the side 
is slightly slimmer than it was on the iPhone 12, which is always welcome. Now the iPhone 13 is also slightly heavier and slightly thicker than the iPhone 12, but honestly, after picking them up, my first reaction is they feel about the same. I mean, now that I think about it and I'm holding them in each hand, I can tell that the iPhone 13 is a little bit heavier, but it's really not that big of a difference at all. And as far as the thickness, I mean, I guess you can tell it's a little bit thicker, but just very, very slightly. I mean, it's really not that big of a difference at all with the thickness here. And if you look at the camera bump right there, it does stick out a little bit more this year just because we have those bigger camera lenses, which will lead to better camera quality, which I will test in this video. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. And for whatever reason, it thinks I'm in China mainland as my main region. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I have to go all the way down to the United States. Now we're going to set it up manually, although you can do it quicker if you set it up automatically. Now, one thing I did also want to mention about the iPhone 13s is that we get two and a half hours more of battery life this year than with the iPhone 12. So if you were impressed with the iPhone 12 battery life, it's going to get much better here with the iPhone 13. I mean, two and a half hours more of battery life is a pretty big deal. And we do also get the A15 Bionic chip this year. So I'm curious to see if like Face ID is faster at all this year. So we're going to set up Face ID right now. I don't think it's going to be faster, but I just want to test this real quick. Yeah, I mean, it does feel good. I mean, it feels like it picked up everything, but I don't think it's really that big of a difference from the iPhone 12 and the A14 Bionic chip. So we're just going to set up a four digit zero passcode. And then here's where you can transfer your data over if you want to. I'm not going to transfer. I'm also going to set up my Apple ID later in the settings. We're going to agree to the terms. We're going to continue for that. We're going to enable location. We'll set up Siri later in settings. I don't like using screen time. We're not going to share the iPhone analytics. You have the option to go into light or dark mode. Of course, dark mode is going to look great with this OLED display, but we're going to stick to light for this video. You could also change the display zoom. And here we are on the iPhone 13. Now, the first thing I want to do is check out the exclusive iPhone 13 wallpaper. So if we go into our settings here and then go to wallpaper, choose new wallpaper. You can see it right there. We have a live wallpaper that is color coordinated for the device. So we have the pink one right here and let's go ahead and set this up and see how it looks on the screen. Yeah, I love that. Of course, it matches really well with the pink iPhone 13. Definitely something you should do right once you get your iPhone 13 is put that exclusive wallpaper on it. All right, so that is the iPhone 13. I really love this pink color. Man, I'm, I'm really impressed with this pink. But let's go ahead and move on to the iPhone 13 mini right here, which is in the starlight color. Now, the iPhone 13 mini costs $699 for the 128 gigabytes, which is what I have right here, $799 for $256, and $999 for the $512 gigabyte variant but the box is also smaller than the iphone 13 box you can see right there based on the size difference of the phone of course so let's go ahead and unbox the mini right here the same way as the others with the all new peel tabs and then let's go ahead and see what this starlight looks like so it looks the same to me as the white did so let's see if it's actually the same i have my 12 mini right over here so here's what the 12 mini looks like okay i guess it is different so last year, the iPhone 12, I have the 12 mini in the white right here. It was more of like a cream, more of like an off white. This year, it's more of an actual pure white. So I don't know which one I really like best. I really liked the cream last year. I still like it right now, but right next to this, I mean, it doesn't look near as white as it did to me last year. So I don't know. I really like it. What do you guys think? Now on the 13 mini right away, I could tell it's thicker than the 12 mini. So the others were kind of hard to tell but you could tell a lot more with the 13 mini that it is thicker and heavier than the 12 mini. And then take a look at those cameras. I mean, the cameras look huge on the iPhone 13 mini. Those lenses look massive, especially compared to last year. They looked a little bit more compact last year, like fitting with the phone, but this year those camera lenses look huge. So we should be able to take some really awesome pictures with the mini this year. And the best thing about the iPhone 13 mini this year is that you're gonna be able to get an hour and a half of longer battery life than on the iPhone 12, which is a big deal because the iPhone 12 mini just did not get great battery life. So to get 1.5 hours more, is going to be a pretty big deal. So let's go ahead and take the screen off. Moment of silence. There we go. Let's go ahead and boot this up and see what that white wallpaper looks like on the mini. I'm also curious to see what the 
uh, notch is going to look like on this mini as well. Eh, so it looks about the same as the iPhone 13 does relative to the size of the screen. And then of course we do have these smaller bezels on the 13 mini compared to the 12 mini as well. So this one recognized me as United States. I don't know why the other one was China mainland. That's interesting. So I guess there's not really any color coordinated colors for the black and the white. So it looks like it's just for like the pink, the blue, and maybe like the red. So I'm not sure which one I should put on the white. I'll just put, I, I guess this one on the white and then for the black, I'll just put this one on the black right here. So let's see what all of these look like on the home screen. Another interesting thing this year is that they all came with two widgets on the home screen. I don't believe that was the case last year. I'm also curious to see what version these devices came on. I believe it should be 15.0. So yeah, they all came on iOS 15, but did you see that? We also have a software update for iOS 15. So it looks like these were on a different build of iOS 15 than the actual public version. So 19A, 341. So that's interesting that we have an iOS 15 update here on all iPhone 13s. All right, so I want to check out the camera here. So take a look at this. This is new for the iPhone 13s. It says photographic styles, personalize the look of your photos by bringing your preferences into the capture. And so you could choose this now. So if you tap on choose style, you get to choose the different styles you want. So that's really cool. That is new here with the iPhone 13. So if you wanted more of like a Samsung type vibe, you can probably go with like a vibrant or a rich contrast. I'll just do this one right here. And you can see this is what the camera interface looks like. You can see right here we have the cinematic mode, which is also new for the iPhone 13s. I'm really looking forward to testing this out. And then we don't have macro mode like we do on the Pro models, of course but cinematic mode is going to be really awesome on these iPhone 13s. And let me just take a picture real quick. I wanna see how those filters work. You can even see there's a new button up there up in the top right to indicate that we have those filters. So if we tap on that, I wonder what happens. So this is where you can change it right here, the tone, the warmth, you could change the style right here, I guess, as well. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So let me just take a picture and see how this looks. If you could change it afterwards, let's tap on edit. And I wonder if we can change afterwards. I thought you could, but maybe not. So I'll have to mess around with this. Of course, I will have a lot of videos coming on the iPhone 13 in the next coming days. And just going through the phone, it feels about the same as last year in terms of performance. Now we do have the A15 Bionic this year compared to the A14 Bionic last year. So in theory, it should be faster, but I will be doing some speed tests here on the channel to see just how much faster the iPhone 13 is to the iPhone 12. So stay tuned to that. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that video. But yeah, again, you're really not gonna notice a big difference after you actually get on the device because it feels about the same as the iPhone 12. Just you will have have those upgraded features with the camera, you have the smaller notch, the better battery life, things like that. But overall, it's not going to be a massive upgrade over the iPhone 12. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is an unboxing and first impressions of the all new iPhone 13 in pink and midnight, and then the 13 mini in the new starlight color. So let me know what you guys think about these new colors down in the comments below. Also stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed. I have a ton of iPhone 13 coverage coming over the next several months. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,